I've been, uh, for the past three years, even more now, I've noticed that in a lot of these YouTube videos, programs, uh, the theme keeps popping up. I'm sure you've noticed that too. Uh, the theme and the subject is trauma this, trauma that. You need to dig for trauma. You need to, you know, expose trauma. That's a trauma response. You have trauma that's stuck in your body. That's why you're not recovering. And I used to hear that all the time and it would trigger me. And it was scary because I thought, well, I know I've been through trauma. I know I've you know, my even my symptoms are were traumatic to me. Going through the, the journey is, was traumatic. Doing exposure, like, there is trauma all over the place. Right? And what bugged me, what scared me, number one, was the thought that... This is why I, I used to avoid talking about it. What scared me is the thought that I had to look for this unicorn of trauma in a hidden treasure somewhere and start digging because it, people would say well it's hidden from you you need to dig for it and find it and when you have it you need to do this 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 and it's like it's like this uh, you know big math equation right and it can only be done on a Tuesday when the Sun is at 333 degrees you know and it's then you dig real quickly you better dig because the water tide is coming in and then, you know, you have to know the answer to this math equation that Einstein wrote 50 years ago. And if you don't, you will not recover. And that was torture to me. I was like, okay, do I have to do go down this, you know, rabbit hole of trauma? And what pisses me off, you know, is a lot of these programs use people's fear to get them to join their program. So... You see a lot of these programs and a lot of the ones that you know, some of the big ones uh, and some of these gurus where you see, you see them saying, yep, so in this journey you will find that blah, 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 the trauma and in order to blah, 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 recover, you need to blah, 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 trauma, trauma, trauma. So I can help you with that. Of course, they can help you with that. It, it's only, you know, if you, if you order this package, we will include that, that trauma, blah, 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 you know, package deal and money, money, money. And you almost feel like, well, I better get on that. I need to change my core beliefs. I need to uh, change, you know, dig for trauma and, and it's hidden and I can't find it. And they'll say, well, you won't be able to find it, but we'll help you find it. And then we'll help you release the trauma so that you can recover. Because if you don't, if you don't do it this way, and if you don't sign up to our program, you will not recover, right? Recover, recover, doubt. <gasps> I won't recover? Shit, so your baseline just shot up, right? It was just, you know, you're finally chipping away at it. You know, your alarms are going crazy. Uh, you got, you're carrying on more loads. You're going to into a spike and you're overwhelmed. And you're right now going through trauma, right? And that, that, that pisses me off when people and some of these big programs that are, people are joining are using your fear because they know they've been through it because the OCD latches on it tries it on goes oh we, we have to do this we have to find a way to pay this this program so that we can recover because I don't want to suffer anymore and then the looping thoughts you will be stuck because of trauma 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 you better get that shovel you better start digging but I can't find this unicorn well you better start looking it's hidden this unicorn is hidden you might see it on every Tuesdays at 3 a.m. in the morning did you see it that last time it walked by? Yeah, that's it. That's it. What you're feeling right now? That's it. Right? I mean, it freaks you out. And I got freaked out by it. And I was scared. And I was like, okay. You know what? I'm going to first try to do what I'm doing and put this trauma thing on the shelf. If I have to go there, then I'll go there. But, you know... You know, and I, I allowed myself to be triggered by this whole trauma um, buzzword because it's the buzzword that's going around in the past couple of years. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's using it as bait to get people to come be clients and pay money, right? And people are, are thinking that they got to look for a needle in a haystack. You know, they send out this, this line of bait to suck people in to take their program to pay the money. 
because they got to look for this, you know, the ark or this treasure chest that's uh, hidden somewhere in the fields of your mind. And you have to dig it up. You better get that shovel. You better start looking and digging it up because if you don't take this program, you will suffer and you will be stuck. And that's horrible. I think that's... These people know that what they're doing. They, they know they're doing this to get the business. This is my viewpoint on this subject of trauma. You know what? If you want to... If there's this hidden chest of trauma that you want to dig for, you know what you should do? Put the map or this hidden secret map on the shelf. You know what? And look for this, this trauma. Dig for it after you recover. Let's do that. Because you don't need to dig for trauma to recover. And that should be a relief to everybody. Because I needed to hear that. I heard a couple of people say that. They're like, oh, don't worry. You don't have to dig for trauma to recover. You know what you should do? Recover first and be more of a curious observer of that trauma that's on the shelf. Because you'll be in a better state to handle it. Because what's the point of re-traumatizing yourself when you're trying to get out of trauma because trauma is you know whatever happened in the past that triggered the trauma is just an alarm that's happening now it's the brain perceiving danger now right now right it's going alarm alarm uh, we need we need to fight or flee right now it's a sense of urgency what's your response helmet what are we doing uh well we're going to recalibrate and turn some alarms off now because the alarms with the trauma the alarms are ringing now Right? It doesn't matter what happened in the past that triggered this, this alarm to ring now. So what I'm saying is, why don't we turn the alarms that are screaming now, turn them off, bring the baseline down, right? And then you'll be at a better position to look at something more at a curious angle, right? And you'll be able to go, all right, I feel great. I feel happy. Do I really want to dig for trauma? Because I don't really feel like I need to. You can do that. You can just... Say, fuck it, I don't care, I'm happy. Or you can go, let's dig for trauma. Yeah, and then you look at it in all angles like this, interesting, oh, okay, interesting. And you're able to handle it. I think that makes a lot more sense, and I think it's a lot easier than to overloading yourself with all this trauma digging. Because that's triggering, that was really triggering for me. And what I've noticed also is the brain is a beautiful thing. It's amazing. Nine times out of 9.8 times, the brain's going to send you everything that you need to work on anyway. So while you're going through this journey, you're going through all the layers of the onion, it's going to send you stuff along the way. For me, everything was traumatic. So I know I had the big core alarms that were like, holy fuck, right? That wouldn't go away right away. And I had the, the little alarms and I had the trauma. I had the triggers. Everything was trauma. Looking at my steering wheel was traumatic. I was like, Arr! right? So it didn't matter. Everything was a shit show. And the more I brought my baseline down, the more I turned alar alarms off by exposing myself to it. First, I created a bubble. Then I did my visuals, brought my baseline down and then started turning alar alarms off. Then I was at, you know, at a stage where I did more exposure repeated the process right and things started to, to calm down and the brain and the process while you're going through this process sends you things to work on because what about this oh right it's like this it's in a warehouse going all right we're gonna go to the third rack bring it down reach truck right all right helmet what about this yep throw that out keep that uh let me let that sit here with me for a little bit okay what about this what about that trauma right it'll bring it to you nine times out of nine and a half times by you know a thousand times out of a thousand times it will bring it up to you and you will sift through it so you don't have to dig for nothing even if you're worried about well i what if i don't ever sift through the trauma what if it never happens and I, you know i stay sick don't worry about it your brain will bring it to you for me my brain was bringing shit to me on a platter. I didn't even have to, I didn't have to do exposure on purpose. I didn't have to uh, do any hunting. That came later on in the stages. In the beginning, I had a lot of work to do. 
and it was right in my face. It was like, me first, me first, me, 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 me. All right, all right, you, okay. Brain, what do you, what do you want to work on? Let me send, send me what, okay, all right, Ugh. okay, Ugh. all right, let's do it, let's do the work, all right, okay. And then everything was traumatic, you know? Most of it was all a shit show, it was all hell. But you work through it, you learn the tools, how to work through something with my five keys of recovery, watch all the videos, start to work, and all my tips, all my videos, I, I show you how I did it. So don't worry about digging for trauma because it's not necessary to recover. Why not recover first? And then if you wanna go back and dig, you know what, I'll give you the shovel, go nuts. You might actually enjoy it, who knows? Probably not, but it won't be as bad as it would be right now when you're overwhelmed with all this shit, all these bombs going off, and then people are, are saying, plus you have to take my program in order for you to recover so that we can look for this hidden treasure of trauma. Horse shit. So let's get rid of the alarms that are on now. Let's bring the baseline down so that you're able to regulate and the body can heal, right? Because it's it's the now alarms that lead to recovery. It's regulating the nervous system with the now alarms. Now, it's ringing, mayday, mayday, OCD, looping thoughts, PTSD, 70 symptoms, right? Let's get rid of that first because it's all happening now, right? It's all about now. Fight or flight, the state of fight or flight is about what's happening now because it perceives danger yes it happened from programming from uh, that we had in the past we programmed that survival state from the past till now but that's irrelevant what happened in the past because it's perceiving danger now and we got to train it to see to show it that there is no danger that tiger that you saw or that uh bear it's not on your it's not here it's gone but you think you see a bear right now that's why you have all these alarms right now. So what we'll do is we're gonna, with these methods, we're gonna show you that there is no, no bear right now, right? So that you can function and recover and thrive and be healthy and happy. And if you wanna talk about bears at, about in the past, you'll be in a better state to do so. I think, you know, when you're thriving and healthy and happy, you'll be at a better position and you'll get further when you dig for trauma, right? And I think it's gonna be hard for you to find because you're, you're, gonna, be, you're gonna be fine. And you're gonna look at it in an angle of, of a curious observer and go, oh, right, that clarity, interesting. Hmm, that did suck, but I'm not really, I'm not scared, you know? Heh, but it's interesting. Oh, you know what? There might be some feelings there. Oh, I do feel a little bit of guilt there. I feel a little bit of a little bit of shame there. Hey, let's feel those feelings. Right? Allow those feelings that but it's not a big deal because you're you're able to handle it. You're not dealing with a thousand alarms and being in a survival state. That's just for me, that's just stupid to have to deal. Your you know, the your alarm is screaming because it thinks there's a fire and a bear eating your head off. And then you wanna, what, put gasoline on the fire and drop bombs everywhere? Does that make sense? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I would say, don't worry about digging for trauma. Just continue with the work. The brain's gonna send you this stuff to work on anyway. So hopefully this uh, brought relief to a lot of people because I'm sure there's a lot of people that were digging and finding nothing because I'm sure a lot of people already have a lot of trauma to deal with. You know, new trauma, old trauma. Trauma, everything's trauma. Trauma serial. Trauma, you know. So this should give you some relief. Just to go, oh, okay, that's a load off, right? That's one less thing I got to worry about. That's a big load. Oh, that, that was a 747. You know what? F off. Get off me. And now you can go, oh, Cool, one less thing I gotta worry about. That's one less thing you gotta worry about. Isn't that great? Isn't that beautiful?